Fuck. I hate this fucking place. No, I don't. I love it. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. It's time to make some fucking money, that's for sure. GM and welcome back to the channel. In this one, we're exploring the bull run that is going on in the trading bot game right now. Whether it's on Telegram or soon on Discord, there's a lot popping off in this sector. Potentially a bit of a blow off here coming for Unibot, but a lot of people were saying that also last week. But let's investigate, actually look at the bots as well. So a quick run through of Unibot if you haven't seen how it functions previously. And we'll look at where this meta may go next as well. So stick along to the end. I hope you enjoy this one. If you do, make sure you drop me a comment down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And let's jump in. So Unibot here is now trading at around 170 bucks, 194 it tickled earlier this morning. So an almost 200 mil market cap. So when people have bearish bias on crypto right now, you have to say, look, there's just unbelievable opportunities in this market. You could have turned a $20,000 investment into a $200,000 investment almost in just over one month here in this market for one crypto, Unibot. And there's been a load of other coins that have also done crazy gains off the back of this as well. So when we see this kind of bull runs happen in specific sectors, even though it's not a market-wide bull run, if you have your feelers out there, you know where to look and you kind of get a feel of what people like to buy in this market as well and what makes people tick, well, there's some serious X's on the table out here. Now, talking of X's, Unibot X is coming. I believe it is in closed beta right now. Just check out how cool this kind of preview is. You get the idea. So they are absolutely shipping crazy amounts of products and they're bringing out Unibot X soon. And Unibot X is potentially gonna have, you know, options trading, we're gonna have leverage, maybe even cross chain as well. I'm not exactly sure what they're gonna bring out, but once Unibot X is live to the public, I will do a video tutorial on that one so we can get up to speed. Now, what's really interesting about this kind of meta is that all these coins are just launching on chain straight out the gates. So as an example here, the 93rd biggest holding wallet of Unibot is Hobi. So if these centralized exchanges don't wanna have their lunch eaten, they need to start buying these tokens and listing them. Everyone wants to get their hands on them. Also, obviously, if you trade it on a sex, you don't have to pay the tax fees. So some people who want to hold the coin will do it for that purpose. But say Binance wanna come in and list Unibot, they're gonna to have to start buying up off the open market here. And that just sends the prices higher and higher and higher. That may be well one of the reasons why the coin is doing so well here as this may be actually exchanges starting to push the prices up due to them needing those exchange fees their customers expect these coins to be trading on their platforms and so this could spark a bit of a blow off top i was thinking about this earlier similar to what we saw with the lsd narrative a load of lsds started to get listed on exchanges they were all initially on-chain launches there was no allocation to you know seed rounds for exchanges etc they therefore had to buy the tokens from the dexes directly and this may be the play book we're seeing in the crypto space right now with this on-chain bonanza. Now Unibot stats here on June are absolutely tremendous. Revenue by day, you can see that is in ETH, over 300 ETH just a few days back, comfortably above 200 ETH per day in revenue, 40% of which goes directly to holders of the token. No staking contract, you just have to hold it in a wallet and they distribute the fees to you. Cumulative users is up and to the right, as you would expect in any early new tech revolution. And I think this is something that is really here to stay because it just reduces the amount of friction when trading on chain as you can do it all from the interface of a telegram or a discord suite and as an example rookie xbt don't know if you follow him over on twitter he holds 10,000 unibot and he says he's pulling in one to two eth in fees per day for just holding that quantity of tokens they also have a auto compound feature you can turn on for the token as well which will therefore take your fees in eth and then buy up more unibot
bot. So this token is one that is a real gem. It's pulling in huge fees, making huge revenues, passing most of those back to its holders of the token. So it gives them less reasons to actually sell. But I do believe there will be a bit of a sell-off soon as it is looking rather vertical out there. And then we can get a trickle down into the other coins. Looking at unibot.app, that is the website here, the fastest telegram trading bot. They've just nailed it with the kind of sleek designs and very much, you know, cool lore behind Unibot itself. Let's just have a little look at this. So we're showing you some of the ways you can place like limit order sells, limit order buys, how to execute on here. We'll jump into the app in just a second though. But in comparison to the competitors in the landscape here, think about Weijibot, et cetera, none of them have put this much time, effort, and detail into attracting new users. So I think this is what Unibot really excels at, and this is why they are the number one. It says six times faster than trading on Uniswap, two mil in rev share distributed so far. Do your limit orders, snipes, sells, make your transactions private through their RPC, and a load more stuff. Now, why would you want to use this? Well, they have snipes and scanners looking for good coins out there as well. They are partnered with Laylapse, I believe, which may be part of this kind of scanning for new coins out there. Laylapse is kind of a sister or at least a close partner to Unibot, so that could have a bit of a trickle down of any funds. From Wales who make a lot of money in this, they may try and buy Laylapse next. It's starting to see a bit of a pump here. But just think about what you can do with these kind of tools. So say we're in a brand new bull market. You've got a lot of normies investing in the crypto space. You catch wind of something breaking, some big news on Twitter for a random altcoin. It's a few mil market cap. You've seen that stuff that gets a bit of traction is going up 5, 10x in a matter of a week. Well, rather than have to run to your PC, log into your Uniswap, do your token approvals, all that stuff, you could be set in the park with your Telegram app open, with Unibot enabled, with some funds good to go, and you can paste the contract address and just ape in in a few clicks. We're gonna be streets ahead of the new class in the crypto bull run this time round using tools like this. What's more, they've also got the PL screen grabs to post onto socials. This is something very cool because it does stimulate people to utilize the app. You've got your referral code, get 10% of the referred users transaction fees. You can show off your big wins. The whole Binance Bybit playbook here where people would post their PL scores and get others to come and trade on that same exchange. Well, now the exchange is no longer a centralized exchange. You're trading via Uniswap, but through Telegram on the Unibot app. This is a major change in crypto user behaviors. I believe this is the death of those shit tier exchanges. The next up we have Discord trading bots and that of YOLO NOLO that I've been very bullish on here over the last few weeks and I've let you guys know about made some good returns off this so far, but again, believe that the Unibot money will flow into other alternatives. It's gonna to top out at some point, and then we're gonna see a money flow into other coins, and I believe YOLO NOLO will be one of those. Again, this one builds on top of Hero Network. And so if you're bullish on this, actually drawing in a huge crowd and becoming very popular, then Hero Network is where all this trading volume is gonna root through, and thus this is gonna be bullish for the Hero Network token as well. Now, why this has a bit of a competitive advantage in my mind over Unibot is that it has gasless trading because it all settles on the Solana blockchain. So essentially the team can eat the fees because to transact on Sol is literally sub one penny. Whereas on ETH mainnet, you're paying not only the tax to the team for getting in and out of the coin, and most of the trades you're making are probably tax tokens as well, but also on top of that, you're paying an ETH gas cost that is like 30, 40, 50 bucks plus, depending on how busy the network is. So the fact that this settles on Sol is very bullish in my mind. The beta for this is being released today. I will have a little play around on the Blockmates Discord once it goes live. But you can see from this the kind of configuration and interface that this will look like. Similar in some ways to the Telegram bots, but of course this is on Discord, so it's gonna look a bit different. But you can see down here, you've got these different buttons, deposit, create perp account, withdraw, all this stuff. You can see you can swap long, short, and close out your positions with a quick slash command. But I really do think this will help socialize trading and make it a lot more fun for market participants. 
So Gunny from Hero did post this little breakdown. Spot trading is coming. On-chain perps embedded into any Discord server. No gas fees paid by the bot. Cross-chain deposits and withdrawals. So you can deposit from other networks and then they will settle all these transactions on the Solana blockchain. So you don't even have to be a Solana lover or hater. You can just use the bot and not even know what network is settling on. So some of the advantages over Unibot, gasless trading, capital efficient. It wants to be embedded on a business to business scale as well. And for getting this into your server, you can take a cut of fees as well. So this obviously will promote people to add NOLO perps and this bot into their Discord servers. So I think it's a given that you will see these kind of trading bots enabled in every server that you're actually in. And as it says at the bottom there, Telegram bot is actually coming soon from Nolo as well. So you don't even have to pick your platform really, you can have it in both. Now here is the breakdown of the fees for Nolo. The total basis points taken is 25. 6.1 goes to the hero network, of which then half of that will go to hero stakers. LPs will get 4.4 bips, holder revenue share, i.e. just holding or staking the token, 2.2 bips. So there's going to be a large demand to actually hold and stake the NOLA token. Server operators get 4.4. User referrals get 2.2 and server referrals get 2.2. And the treasury gets 3.5. This could be a very profitable endeavor as we see people start to punt perps, not from DEXs, but directly from their favorite social apps. So current price of NOLA it is up yet again. The chart has been looking great all week. Just trending towards the top right hand corner, $2.71. FTV is just 12 mil. So even if it captures like a quarter of what Unibot has done, maybe a $50 million market cap, still got a good 4x in it at that point. So from the trading bots to the kind of trading sniping alpha kind of stuff, Laylaps is the one that is kind of partnered with Unibot that I mentioned earlier. If we just go into it here, you need a specific role to get the access for the bot and it's just given out alpha. So a load of the big trades on chain have been called by this bot. There's various tiers, Zeus tier, 5 million tokens required, Europa 3.5, Thebes 2.5 mil, and just a villager down here, there's 313 members of that, 500,000 tokens required. Current cost is around 4,000 USD for that. So 4,000 around 20k all the way up to a 50k tier there pretty crazy stuff but the bot has been churning out some amazing winners as you can see down here it called coco's just last night and it went from a 46k market cap to over 5 million just earlier it is on a pullback currently now final thoughts what could be a potential next meta we're seeing reduced friction throughout the crypto markets reduced friction for trading reduced friction for finding the alpha there well what about reduced friction for airdrop farming two projects here loot bot this one costs around 30 bucks per month if you want to take the paid version you can see the tokenomics in here so total supply 10 mil loot but if you want the free version it's 80% of the airdrop value you'll receive and they'll take 20% in revenue and they have a revenue split with token holders. So this could be a quite interesting one, 25% revenue share and 50% off of the subscription model for holding at least 1,000 loot it is. And then we have Farmer Friends as well. This one is just $5 per wallet, a lot cheaper. I don't like the UI on this one so much, but again, this is an airdrop hunting and farming kind of bot here on Telegram also. So these these may be the next kind of metas in the market and I'm pretty sure everyone likes to do a bit of airdrop hunting and so if this is really worthwhile doing these are tools that could potentially be next big winners in the market cycle.